Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. This is Uncle Lenny, the only uncle in town. So guys, before I continue, I just wanted to appreciate you all every day for checking out my videos, for sharing. And please let me know where you'll be watching this video from, what continent or what country or what zip code. At the same time, I want to take advantage or to just appreciate people that are behind the scene on this channel. There are people that are working tirelessly to making sure that we come live, we bring contents to you guys. So guys, I know there are some uh, people that are behind the cameras, the editors, there are people that are in the African continent that are still behind this channel. Guys, I appreciate so much. But this evening, guys, I love this uh, segment because it's a time when I have to talk about little issues, things that are happening in our own life. That's the reason why your only uncle wants to come and talk about, just to try to shed light on the things that is happening around the globe. <laughs> so guys, let me start by telling you how things are happening into the continent of Africa. Thereafter, I'll divert a little bit to the continent that where I am. If you look about the continent of Africa, so many countries um, are affected with a drought. The rains didn't come very well in Africa. What does it tell us? It tells us that Next year, the African continent is going to find a challenge when it comes to food. And the continent of Africa is going to find a challenge when it comes to water because the rains did not come the way it was expected. So this tells us that, actually, if you look at what the Bible is telling us, is that we are not supposed to be conformed or we are not supposed to be conformed to the standard of this world, meaning we should not be used to the patterns or the way the weather comes. Things may have changed. Things will change. Look at the continent of Africa. So it's important for the people that are in the continent of Africa to adapt to a certain climate or the way they do things. So if we have been planting maize or if we have been relying into a corn or groundnuts, it's important to look at the food that are heat resistant so that we can have something to fall on next year. Right now, so many countries in Africa, they are complaining on uh, high commodities. If we are talking about the food that are expensive now, wait until next year. All this, some of them, it's the effect of coronavirus because some of the companies have gone. But there are some, like this one that is happening in Africa, it's because of the... Next year, it will be because of the drought, the rains that did not come okay. So if you look about what is happening around the globe, I started with the continent of Africa about the rains. If you go to the Middle East, there's war. If you go to Europe, there's Ukraine and uh, um, uh, Russia fighting, meaning the world right now is not at peace. There's so much uncertainty in the world. There's no peace. So people that are in African continent, I want people to look about to plant certain type of food like cassava. If you plant cassava today, you're going to realize that even if it is heat, you're able to have something to eat in the next season. But if you're not thinking about buying the kind of crops that you're using, Africa will have a lot of challenges. And we're not going to only to depend into our governments to give us uh, the relief food. Therefore, we need to use our own initiative. Find by all means to go and start planting other food that you can know that this food will help us into the next season. I've talked much about the food. We should not rely on the governments. Because if you look about the governments in Africa, it's not only Zambia. You're going to talk about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe just declared the state of emergence. Malawi also declared the state of emergence. So is Zambia too. Meaning there's the emergence uh, a crisis that are caused by uh, uh, the, rain, the short rainfall. So therefore, we are not going to have to put our heads or rely into the governments to feed us. It's now time for us to look at what is it that we can do to, so that we can have other step of food instead of relying to the government. So our brothers and sisters, my, 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 the people that are on this family, please, if you are on the continent of Africa, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in Ghana, Nigeria. You can be in the southern part of Africa, which are affected so much with the rainfall. Please find by all means. There are still some rivers. You can go to the rivers, go and find some other plants that you can plant 
so that you can feed your family tomorrow. Instead of waiting for what the government will do, we are going to be in a crisis. I'm going to take a pause a little bit and come to the continent where I am right now. I'll give you, I'll, I'm going to take a, a pause and look around behind, look around our lives. The way we live, our jobs. If you look about this country right now, we are losing jobs. Companies are closing right, center, and left. Some of the reasons is the effect of coronavirus. And if you look about the prices, yes, the prices are going sky high. The commodities are, our commodities are going so high. But I want to encourage you one thing. That if we are talking about the, the prices now, let's wait until next year. If we are complaining on how companies are closing their doors, let's wait until next year. Next year, it will be a turning point for every country here on, the, on earth. It's not only going to be the countries in Africa, but even these uh, developed countries, even them, they are on the test. Because companies are closing. People are going without no jobs. But I want to encourage you one thing, that there's still hope. So if you are in school today, please pay attention to what you are studying. If you are working, please do not chop everything. Spare some for next year. And remember to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have hope. Take a walk. Change our life. We, our lifestyle has to change a little bit. We need to adapt. Because the season that we are get, going, getting into is not the same. Uncle Len is here to shed light. Uncle Len is here to say it as it is. I have seen when the, 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 the economy of this country was better. I have seen when prices started get going up. Today, I can attest that things are getting tough. But right now, we haven't become worse. The toughest it will be, will be next year. The years to come, 2026, and years going up, it will be a turning point for everyone, everywhere, wherever you are. It doesn't matter the continent. The year is 2026 to be a year that will be so challenging. Life will be tough. So if you are praying, make sure you pray sincerely. Make sure you put, but the good part, those that are, are believers, the Bible is telling us in Psalms 9, verse 9 to 10, it says, the Lord shall be your shelter. So meaning, those that are believers, Put your hope in the Lord. But don't start putting your hope in the Lord and not do something. You can put your hope in the Lord. Wake up and go and work. Wake up and hustle. Go and do something. Believe in yourself. Don't just pray and sit on the corner. Things will be worse. Because even the Bible is telling us, encouraging us, that you shall eat the sweet of your sweat. So if you sweat, you're going to eat. So I don't just want to encourage you to say, the Lord shall be your shelter. That's good that the Lord shall be your shelter. But I want to encourage you to come out from that, that notion of just praying to go and hustle, to go and do something. Let's adapt with the way things are changing. We should not just remain the way we used to do things in the past. Because the past is the past. I just want to take a pause. You go out there tomorrow. Don't go buy and shop anything. Just go in a shop and see for yourself what I'm talking about. How the prices are changing. How companies are closing. It's not, a, it's not a, a quick fix. This solution, this problem, it's not a quick fix. It's not something that can change by a silver bullet. But this solution requires us to adapt, to change the way we look at things, the way we do business, the way we work, the way we invest, the way we shop. So they're important for every family, regardless of everywhere, ever, or everywhere else you are, to sit down and budget. Look at the most important and what, and what are the things that you, you can scale off from your, your, your budget. There are certain things that you need to cut off for you to survive. You're not going to keep every single thing that you use today, next year. It will be important 
to sit down, check on your bills. What is it that you can, that, what is it that you need in your house? Is this important? If it's not important, it's important to, to take out of it so that you can save a little bit because time will be hard. That I can assure you that it's not going to be easy in the years to come. But it's important that we prepare ourselves. We should prepare our mind. That's the reason why Uncle Lenny is out this evening to making sure that he, we, I shed light to change the mindset on how we do business, how we do things. Because life will be tough. We are living in the tough times. Even the Bible is telling us that on the end days you shall see things that you have never seen. We are seeing it now. Look at how, how the world economies are collapsing in our own eyes. And these are bigger economies, guys. I'm not just talking about the economy of a small country like Malawi, but I'm talking about the world of the economy of the big nations. Whatever is happening here, it's not only happening here. It's happening in Europe. It's happening in Nigeria, Abuja. It's happening in Zambia. The prices of food, right now as we are talking, it's come and see. You can go to war food tomorrow with $100. Go and check how many commodities you come out in that shop. So you can tell that this economy is affecting almost everyone. It doesn't matter you are a believer, you are not a believer. You go to church, you don't go to church. This is a little life. But yet, even if you are talking about little life, I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to surround yourself with people that are positive. Surround yourself to people that says, this is possible, we can still come out. But if you are around with certain people that tells you we are okay, the government will do it for us, you are setting yourself as a failure. I want to encourage you that I want you to believe and trust yourself. Continue praying and continue working hard. Continue sourcing other avenues of incomes. Make sure you do some research. Don't just say, oh, I'm only specialized in this field. The field that you may in today may not be the field that may give you food tomorrow. So make sure that you don't just look in one field. If you are working right now, try to make sure that you are able to use your hand to make certain things out because it will be the very thing that will put food on the table tomorrow. That's the reason why Uncle Lenny is out today to tell everybody else that we got to believe in ourselves and work hard and save more. Brothers and sisters, I'll be very much interested to know where you'll be seeing this video from. And please do me a big favor. If you're in a country of Malawi, let me know how much a bag of milk will cost. If you are in a country of Abuja, please let me know the cost of food. And if, of course, if you're in Zambia, can you type in down there? I want to know how much a box or a, a, a bag of milk will cost so that as next year comes in, we are able to differentiate on what we are talking about or well, next year it will be better. And of course, over here, we have a bag, what we call Kawunga. Right now, we are buying that bag of Kawunga, I think, at $67. So I'll let you know on the description box the way the prices are going. That's the reason why your uncle out here is out here to tell you guys about the time that is yet to come. That time will be hard. But we should believe in ourselves. And continue praying. God will help those that are knocking. But not just praying and sitting down and believing that God will do miracles. But God will do miracles if we pray and go outside. So brothers and sisters, thank you so very much. I love you guys for tuning in, for paying attention to what Uncle is telling you. But please, 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 please. I want you to make some adjustment in your life. Whatever it is, make some quick adjustment. If you are, you are spending $1,000 in, in, a, in, a, in a week, try by all means to save half.
so that the other half can be used next year. That's the reason why your uncle is out this evening to making sure that we talked about legal issues. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next segment. Stay tuned because this is the movement that we have started. We got to talk about it. I love you. Bye-bye.